The Alpha 2 Mage reveal is just days away from gracing us with its presence, as we will more than likely see Stephen Sharif run around with a few devs in the Riverlands, killing some mobs, aggroing everything in sight, and explaining the direction that Intrepid Studios has taken the mage since we last saw it in its alpha form. And as the mage is one of those classes that I tend to play the most in MMORPGs, there are a few things that I want to see. Starting off with the abilities of the mage, when we first saw the Alpha 1 mage, we got a preview of this monstrosity. An ability basic to most mage arsenals, but with a rooted over animation cast that would make using it miserable compared to the more fast paced tools at a mage's disposal. And Intrepid Studios, I believe heard this feedback if I recall, because at some point within Alpha 1, I'm pretty sure that the fireball was no longer rooted and just an instant cast, which should be how the mage works. It shouldn't have rooted abilities. I don't want to see rooted abilities in Ashes of Creation for any class, especially the mage. Locking yourself into a particular spot on the ground will ultimately make me not want to use that ability at all, especially in PvP situations. For PvE, they are okay as you aren't moving around as much, but I am a firm believer that every ability cast, unless it's an extremely powerful one with a large cooldown, should not root the player in place. These abilities drive me nuts and they are not fun to play with. When it comes to the abilities themselves though, something that was absent from Alpha 1 that I'm hoping to see in the Alpha 2 preview is more crowd controlled abilities. There was one I believe in Alpha 1 which was the black hole that slowly pulled people towards it, but nothing that truly locked a player down in place or prevented it from using its abilities for a few seconds. The point of the mage is to cast at a distance, constantly moving around the battlefield, freezing its enemies in one spot, and teleporting away to deal a quick burst of damage before we repeating the process, which makes crowd control abilities crucial to a mage's arsenal and something that Alpha 1 really lacked. Which is fine because Alpha 1 wasn't meant to be a content test, but as we tune in this Friday, I really hope that we can see this mage in all of its level 15 glory, including these types of crowd control abilities. I also want to learn a bit more about how class synergies that we've heard Intrepid talk about tie into the mage's abilities. For those of you who don't know, what Intrepid calls class synergies is a design around two class abilities abilities bouncing off each other to perform a greater effect, such as one casting a snare on a target, then that snare turned into a full out stun due to a second class casting another ability on it. I would also like Steven to talk about, even if they aren't quite ready to show it yet, how the augments can affect some of these abilities. We know the mage can use augments in fire, frost, lightning, and teleportation, but how exactly do secondary archetypes affect the mage class when the mage is the primary? I feel it's about time for Intrepid to lift the veil on this augment system and really go in depth on its workings so players can get a good understanding on the impact they will have. Although chances of actually seeing this uh, this week I feel like are pretty low and probably something they aren't going to talk too much about until they showcase all eight primary archetypes. When it comes to combat I am pretty excited to see how Intrepid handled the revamp for the mage as they've been working on this combat revamp for two years now. And I think a big goal with the mage would be to distinguish it from the ranger. casting spells and shooting a bow and arrow should feel completely different, and I want to know how Intrepid went to design this class to feel unique compared to the others. If you look at the fighter, tank, and cleric reveals, from what we've seen so far, these classes look to play almost exactly the same when it comes to combat, which is not okay in my opinion. Yes, it is still being worked on, but each class should feel unique in its own way. This goes the same for weapon types as well. From watching, there is really no difference here between the hammer, sword, and two-handed greatsword that we have seen so far, and Intrepid really needs to start adding a feeling of weight and movement to these weapons if they're going to continue down the action hybrid side of things. I don't want a wand to feel the same as shooting a bow or even a staff or a spell book. Otherwise, why develop more than one weapon for the game if they're all going to play exactly the same? The last and most crucial component to the mage though is mana. Mana management is a big thing and honestly I don't want this to feel easy where I can burst down a boss and still have half my mana left towards the end of the fight. Intrepid needs to bring back the validity of health and mana potions, making them a crucial component to not only the mage, but any class kit's arsenal when they're taking on bosses or other players. Mana is something that mages need to be aware of and understand playing this class, and it needs to not be a simple, more casual feature like a lot of games seem to do with the mages these days. I feel as though a mage is normally an introductory class for a lot of people, and I don't want this to be the case for Ashes of Creation. The mage needs to feel challenging, and mana management will play a huge part within that. But this shouldn't just 
just rely on potions, gear stats, and the mage's abilities should also tie into this management, like it would with any class energy type. And I doubt we'll see anything surrounding this on Friday, it is still something I would like to hear Steven and the devs discuss, talking about how they plan for this to work. If you've made it this far into the video, then I assume you are enjoying this content. So help the channel out and please click that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see from the major reveal this week. If you are new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.